it is Halloween season. I know we're always on the hunt for new horror movies to watch. And I wanted to announce that I made a full feature movie called The Siren. I am selling copies of this for $10 and $5 shipping. The movie comes with deleted scenes, blooper reel. It'll have two of my short films on the Blu-ray as well. And every copy of the movie comes with a 5x6 that I will sign in rich metallic gold. If you want it personalized, all you got to do is send an email to this link right here. And I'll also have my email in the description. If you guys would like to support me and get a copy of my movie all you gotta do is email this link right here aside from that let's get on with the review smiling at me. I've traced the string of deaths to you. Nobody has survived longer than a week. I need to stop it, but I don't know how. Guys, I am excited to finally announce a good horror movie recommendation to you this Halloween season. Every Halloween season, we get garbage. Every year without fail. This is the best horror movie I've seen in a long time, and it has one of the best performances I've seen since Midsummer. Naomi Watts kills this role. This movie makes you feel like you, yourself, have anxiety disorder. There's pressure constantly screaming and tension you as a viewer feel like you're being tortured by this entity i wasn't expecting to like this movie nearly as much as i did but i gotta say this is truly one of the best horror movies i've seen in a very long time and naomi watts her performance is oscar worthy i know that's very bold for me to say and it's a little early but this truly is Oscar worthy. This is a Florence Pugh Midsummer type performance. I was engaged in this movie within seconds when it started. The beginning of the movie starts really strong right after the first one leaves off and it pulls you in and you are already locked into the movie. The tension in the opening scene is very adrenaline pumping. It explains what's going on right away. You know why this is happening. It doesn't go according to plan. It gets very out of control. The opening title that leads after this opening scene is very anonymous and creepy. The score was great. I am going to purchase the score. I liked it that much. I haven't heard a score this creepy since The Witch. You are taking on a crazy ride with this character. The way the entity breaks her down in Smile 2, it uses everything in her life against her in such drastic ways. And they do a good job on making it believable. It's not far-fetched. The way the entity breaks her down really makes you uncomfortable by the situation that happen. There's a part in the trailer that they really utilized well. Some people think it's a little tacky and corny. I personally thought it worked really well. Now some minor complaints I would have is the movie does drag in the middle. They could have chopped out the second act and just kept the first and the third and it would have been a perfect movie. The second act really has to flush out the runtime and then there's some character arc stuff that I just didn't care about and when you find out about it later it had really no reason to be there at all and it just padded the movie out unnecessarily. Could have been 15 minutes shorter and one of the things that did truly bother me was the sound work in this movie was way over the top. It was actually some of the most aggressive sound work I've ever heard in a film. It's as if they didn't put a hard limiter on the sound waves in this. A hard limiter is like a wall so when those waves are going it'll always stop right here. It'll never go over. That way it doesn't burst your eardrums. That's how they balance sound. I thought it was a cheap way of trying to freak you out and they also do the jump scare crap several times. I did jump like four times. I couldn't help but you jump because it's thrown in your face and it is extremely aggressively loud. They're layered to a point where you're like, ah, 
It's not the theater. So if you think it's your theater, it's not. The sound work was just a little over the top for me. There was gutching and crunching and there was just too much going on at the same time. And I thought it was a little tacky. The lead actress truly does put on a fantastic performance. I believed everything she was saying. Yes, some people complain that she's doing too much crying. and But there is a scene that the crying worked. It's a flashback scene. And it reminded me a lot of Midsummer how Florence Pugh when she was crying on the couch. That sounded very good. It wasn't the... <laughs> Like the crap they do in the movies now where it's not believable. She was bawling her eyes out and you could tell it was genuine. I thought that worked in its favor really well. That's when the sound work worked for me when it was loud there. Good situations they put her in. Some of the situations make you uncomfortable and they do leave you kind of wanting more and wanting to know where this progresses. The progression part is what makes this so interesting is how far the entity is pushing her. You're wondering when she's gonna snap, how much more she can take. The writers did a good job on compressing everything together and saying, okay, let's expand upon this situation and make it worse because of the world that she's in. So they just double padded it and it was great. Now I'm sure everyone knows that they're gonna show the monster, the entity, because they did in the first one. That was one of my favorite parts of the movie. I wish they would have showed it a little more. They didn't show it very much, but it is there. It's much bigger this time. And I liked what they did with it. And I thought it was very nasty looking. And I liked how they expanded upon it. And it looked way different than it did in the first movie. And it was a fresh take on it. And I was like, okay, so this doesn't have one particular form. It has one form that can expand itself on. And look a little different and a little more creepy. And a little more terrifying looking. Now I know some people are saying the ending is a cop out. I personally thought it worked. It was the best way to end the movie. And it's actually honestly one of my favorite parts and my greatest high because the ending was so perfect in my opinion. So if you are trying to find a really good horror movie to watch this Halloween season, Smile 2 will answer your prayers. You need to put Smile 2 on your Halloween watch list. This is well worth theater admission price. Just know that it's going to be a little loud and it gets a little slow, but it is truly a great movie and it is going to pull you in right away at the beginning act. It's worth your time and your money. I'm going to grade Smile 2 and A minus. As I said guys, this was one of the best horror movies I have seen in a long time. I am going to see this again. That's how much I liked it. I want you to put it on your Halloween list. Definitely go check out Smile 2. Just trust me. My Halloween special is coming out next week. I'm still currently editing that right now. Stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button. I'd like to keep you guys around. And hit that notification bell so you can be notified when my Halloween special drops next week. And I will catch you movie fans on my next review. Thank <laughs> you.